session, Honorable Judge George C. Parris presiding. You may be seated. Good afternoon, Your Honor. Good afternoon. All right. Adam Schwabscher. 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 45 CL1-1507-MI-158. Sir, you want to raise your right hand and be sworn? You sound as swear for him to tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth to the best of your knowledge? Yes, sir. Please be seated. For the record, can you
Thank you. Thank you. Alec Lucas. Alec Lamont, 45 CR1, 1503 MI40. Sir, do you sell any swear firm to tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth to the best of your knowledge? Please be seated. Down, sir. Carter, 45 CO1, 1507 MI170. Mr. Morton, would you raise your right hand and be sworn? Do you sound the swear firm to the whole truth and nothing but the truth to the best of your knowledge? Yes, I do. Please be seated. Is 
stay in suspension and grant you a specialized license for driving through the front board, as well as for basic life necessity to be able to support yourself. Yes, sir. In the past, you've held an Indiana license, is that correct? I have. Do you hold the CDL, is that also correct? I do not. You haven't been granted a license like this before? Correct. But your license is currently suspended because you were deemed to be a habitual traffic violator in, 2000, in this year, is that correct? Uh, yes, that's correct. Your last alcohol related offense was also from this year, is that correct? That is also correct. And you're currently enrolled in an alcohol program in addiction and behavior counseling, is that correct? Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. You currently own a vehicle? I do. Is that vehicle insured? It is. And again, not being able to drive for the purposes of going to and from work as well as basic life necessities and creating a hardship within you supporting yourself and your families? That is correct. Okay, any questions? Cross. No questions, John. Sir, you may step down. Thank you. We will object for the record to this petition being granted um, based on the petition and driving record. However, if the court is still inclined to grant it, we would ask that you should have been allowed to be provided. The petitioner has uh, two operating while intoxicated convictions within the past five years. Um, the latest of this day being 2014. Name of it. There's nothing in the statute that disqualifies Glenn from this. Um, as far as the alcohol component, he is in a program right now. You know, he screws up, he's, he's jeopardizing probation in that case. Um, I, don't, I don't think we're going to see him anymore. I don't think I'm going to 90 days. Yeah, and we're uh, Yes. C0-1507-MI-165. Keith Dwarak, 45-C-0-1507-MI-165. Swear as you right hand be sworn, sir. Do you sound the swear firm to the best of your knowledge? Be seated. Alcohol 
very interested in that program later. Also regional. And you currently do you have a vehicle? I do not. Okay, but you do have insurance? Yes. So if the vehicle that you do have, you do have insurance for? Correct. Okay. No questions, John. Thank you. Thank you. It's a scram monitor. It's, it's attached to his ankle, and basically, if he does have any alcohol, it's for his probation. And how long is he on that? Oh, so. To when? December 5th. Is that acceptable to the state? That's acceptable to the state, John. All right, Thank we'll you. just allow that. May I put this in order, Your Honor? Yes. CO 1507 MI 149. So you saw him still serve, tell the whole truth and nothing but truth to the best of your knowledge. Okay. 
there's nothing in the statute that would disqualify uh, parents from getting a special ed license. As far as the interlock, um, Trent's currently working three jobs. So I understand the court's concern, but again, Trent understands um, the benefit he's getting here, and I don't think alcohol will be an issue. 90 days, interlock. Sure. Kevin Sheridan, 45 CO1, 1507 MI 156. You saw him swear for him, tell the truth, and nothing but truth to the best of your knowledge. Be proceeded. Step down. Your yeah, Honor, this will object for the record to this petition being granted yeah. based on the driving record. Um, however, we would ask an alternative uh, ignition in a lot. And there are two operating on intoxicated convictions within the past five years, the uh, most recent being in 2013. I think. Can you get into something in the Ninety days. Yes.
49 Kirby. 45 CON 1507 MI1 48. Sir, you solemnly swear, firm, tell the whole truth, and nothing but the truth to the best of your knowledge? Yes. You can be seated. Ryan, Ryan Jason Kirby. Ten years. Correct. Who does he do for re reinstatement? Who is the judge in the bitch? 2007. Okay, so he's got some time. All right, I'll grant the petition. Thank you. You're welcome. This is Larry Titchener, Titchener, 45 CO1, 1507 MI, 154. Sir, do you sound swear, tell the whole truth and nothing but truth to the best of your knowledge? Please be seated. Good afternoon, Mr. Moody. Attorney Ian Moody. Yes. And you've never been convicted of any kind of a 
death, uh, causing death, moral intoxicated, and reckless homicide, involuntary manslaughter, involuntary manslaughter, no. and you've never violated your restrictions no. uh, based on your lifetime suspension. Sure. And you're aware that if the court grants your petition, that you're obligated to maintain proof of financial responsibility for a period of three years after the barrel issues a license to you? Yes. You're also aware that if you're, you cannot test higher than 0.02% blood alcohol content at any time or place to stop by the law enforcement officer. Yes. How long have you been sober? Over six years. And are you uh, able to get to and from work without substantial hardship to you or your relatives, namely your sister? It's difficult, yeah. And when your sister is unable to provide you with transportation, how do you get to and from work? A uh, neighbor, co worker, um, or can, next to him. Okay. Where do you currently work? Uh, CFC International is the um, um, savvy company. And if you're granted, uh, the court grants your petition, is it going to make it significantly easier for you to find more gainful employment? Yeah, I guess it will. And are you supporting any family right now? Uh, myself and two children. Do you pay for support on a regular basis? Yes, I do. Does that come out of your paycheck? Yes. Sir, you can step down. Your Honor, we in receipt of proof of insurance that we will defer to the court's discretion in this matter. All right. Court grants petition. Your Honor, I have an order. Bring it up. Oh, I'm sorry, I put it down on the paper. Thank you. Next case is Gregory Kapolinski, 1507 MI. Well, the whole truth is nothing but the truth to the best of your knowledge. Brian, can you state your full name, please? Gregory James Kamelson. And Greg, how old are you today? 28. And where do you live? Helena, Indiana. You still live at uh, 351284 Street in Highland? Okay. Greg, 
driving privileges are presently suspended as of July 12th of this year, except be suspended through January 8th of next year, correct? Yes. And that's as a result of the charge. Similar situation. Um, it has been suspended for um, for for OWI. I've never had no. Driving record. There may have been some failure to pay or failure to appear. Or You live by yourself? Correct. Okay, so you are the sole means of financial support for yourself, correct? Yes. Um, Greg, you are uh, self-employed. You're self-employed. You're starting your own business, correct? Yes. And as a result of starting that enterprise, you're asking the court for specialized driving privileges so you can conduct your business locally that's necessary to grow and build your business. Yes. We're also asking for leave to travel to stores and other localities to support the home, your home, your the everyday household items and necessities, correct? Yes. And should the need arise, if you need to seek medical attention or any other similar type of emergency situation, you're asking for that for permission to drive this home. Yes. Um, Greg, you have you have currently and had at the time and presently maintained valid auto insurance, correct? Yes. Greg, do you have any other method for the trans for your transportation to secure the items necessary for your business other than with the use of an automobile? I mean, outside of delivery is being made, you don't have anybody else who can drive you to the place that you need to go on a regular basis, correct? Correct. And without some limited permission to drive, it would work a hardship on you to be able to support yourself and continue your business, correct? Yes. Your Honor, um, I have no further questions, and we'll stand and incorporate um, all the other uh, information contained in the verified. Okay. No what, what kind of business do you do? Um, I'm trying to start a business that's going to be like an internet pet shop so that we won't have to travel to an actual pet shop because. Oh, okay. Like All right. All right, thank you. You can step down. Okay, we would object for the record to this petition being granted based on the driving record. Um, at the very least, with that definition, interlock be granted. There is. Uh, Chemical test failure and depending operating while intoxicated. Your Honor, in response to that, I'd say the previous suspensions on Mr. Kaplinski's record were for failure to pay and the failure to complete the driver safety program. He has completed the driver safety program and the court would like to see it actually put off the receipt. And as far as the uh, ignition interlock on an administrative suspension where he has no priors, there's been no legal finding of fact in that case is still pending. We would say it would be a bit excessive. Um, well, how many how many alcohol offenses did he have? None. This is the first day of suspension. No cures anywhere on the charge of judge. And it's uh it's gonna expire on January eighth, so that's our request would be the court not require that considering it's the first offense. Your Honor, if um, there is no problem with him drinking or um, this this really isn't as big of a deal as you know it's said then having the initial in the lock will not be a problem he'll be able to actually blow into the device and be able to drive what was, was what was the date of his last of his last what suspension up uh, up the operating while intoxicated oh that's pending your honor the effective date the initial hearing was on july 12th of this year that's just pending right now this is just the administrative suspension all right that's that's why so that's why we're so we don't have a disposition Absolutely. after his case is disposed he can get his license back Absolutely. Uh, 
a grants petition. Okay. Yes, I Mitchell Haddad, 35 CO1, 1507 MI 172. Shall I swear firm, tell the whole truth, nothing but truth, to the best of your knowledge? I do. Sit down. Can you say your name, please? Mitchell David Haddad. Hey, Mitchell, what's your date of birth? 11 4 and you filed a petition with this court to grant you a specialized driving privilege which would stay your current driving license suspension, is that correct? Yes. You are not a visual of correct? No. You have a suspension in place for an insurance violation, correct? Yes. And your suspension is due to uh, expire on 10 24 2017, is that correct? Yes. So you're asking to be granted a special driving privilege in that injury, is that correct? Correct. Right. Are you employed, sir? Yes. Who are you employed? At uh, Water Women Owners, it's a long company. It's a family business, is that correct? Yes, sir. And you travel to different sites, both in the state of Indiana and Illinois, to install and maintain alarms, correct? Yes, sir. And so are you asking permission to drive to and from, and then, of course, during the course of your employment? Yes. Also, are you asking permission to drive for necessities of life? Yes. You are currently in alcohol counseling, is that correct? Yes, later. And you're also attending NA and AA meetings, is that correct? Yes. And you're asking permission to drive to and from those meetings, is that correct? Yes. Okay. And um, do you have insurance? Yes. Can we provide a copy of your insurance to our, uh, we attach that to our petition, is that correct? Yes. And you'd ask to be allowed to go to Achi shop and do those things necessary uh, to maintain uh, your uh, household. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Uh, Church, I have no questions. All right. Anything, Madam Prosecutor? Any questions? No questions, Sean. Thank you. We would object for the record to this petition being granted based on the petitioner's driving record. At the very least, we would ask that admission and it might be implemented. Uh, there is a operating while intoxicated conviction as recently as 2013. Judge, what he's suspended for has nothing to do with alcohol, um, but he is in a program now. He is uh, certainly uh, takes his sobriety seriously. Why is he suspended? Uh, the insurance issue, Judge. What, do you have an accident or something? Yes, Judge. Um, the Bureau found that he did not have insurance. Um, um, and suspended him from 11-12-2013 until 10-24-2017. So it's a Bureau imposed. Uh, How many DUIs has he had? Uh, I see just one on his record, Your Honor. However, um, there's, there's nothing saying that whatever um, specialized uh, privileges are granted has to be based on this particular uh, suspension. So if he hadn't had an accident, 
he could have a, he would be driving right now. Okay, um, that is correct, Sean. Without interlock or anything. Without the interlock or anything. I'll grant the petition. I don't think the interlock is necessary. Mr. Hayes, 45C1 1507 MI 152. Anyone raise your right hand? Do you solemnly swear firm to tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth to the best of knowledge? Let me see. Good afternoon. Uh, could you please take your name for the record? Krista Adrina Hayes. Ms. Hayes, uh, you are the petitioner for this matter. Yes, correct. And uh, together we prepared a petition that you signed under oath, correct? Right? Yes, sir. Right. And everything in that petition is true and accurate? Yes, sir. Right. Number 28 years old? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And where do you live? 3829 First Street, Chicago, India. Okay. And you're currently employed in Poland, is that correct? Yes, sir, that's correct. Um, you are also a single mother of three children? Yes, sir, that's correct. And you provide for those three children? Yes, sir. Through your job at home? Yes, sir, that's correct. Currently, you're suspended for a repeat insurance violation? Yes, sir, that is correct. And the dates of that suspension ran from January 13, 2015 to January 13, 2016. Yes, sir. At the time you came in, we reviewed four categories of people who are not eligible for this type of uh, specialized private privilege. Is that correct? Yes, sir. That's correct. And you didn't fall into any of those categories? No, sir. Okay. And you never before ever seen a specialized private privilege? No, sir. Because you work in Hobart and live in East Chicago, there's no direct need for you to get to other than by being taken to work in Central. Correct. correct. So that's provided an undue hardship to try to provide for your children, and you're always busy trying to find rights to work. Yes, sir. That's correct. And you work shift work, so sometimes those hours are different. That's correct. Okay. So at this point, uh, oh, also we have provided, you do have insurance um, on the vehicle. Yes, that's correct. Right. Okay. And we provide a copy there to the prosecutor. Um, so at this point, are you asking if the court would grant you a specialized strike permit to go to work to do basic necessities of life, go to work shift, things like that? Yes, that's correct. Right. So I can try. You the prosecutor? No question, Jack. Thank you, ma'am. We are in fact in receipt of proof of valid insurance and we will defer to the court. All right, the court will grant the petition. I mean, okay. Yes.
5 CL 113011 MI 162. Sound of square firm, tell both truth to the best of your knowledge. Hey, sir. Did you see it? Can you state your name for the record? Billy Joe Mann, the second. Dave Burke, 4279. How old are you today? 36. Where do you currently reside? Sorry? Where do you currently reside? 303 uh, Burns Street, Old. And why are you currently suspended? Uh, HDB. And that suspension is set to expire October 13th of 2018? Correct. Okay. Do you have valid insurance today? Correct. Yes. Okay. Where are you currently employed? Zanoff so, Peters Clay, Chicago. Okay, and I know that at the time of filing the petition, you were at a, you were at a different uh, place of employment, correct? Yeah, I worked uh, for a plumbing contractor in Vermont. Now you're working for uh, Sarnowski Display Service at 2287 South New Island? Correct. Chicago, Illinois? Yep. What do you do there? I'm a trade. We set up trade shows at McCormick Place. So I'm a field supervisor. And at times, does your uh, um, type of work require you to go to other locations, do side work, those types of things? Yeah, we, we work in the Chicago land area between the hotels and the McCormick Place. Setting up shows. Where they work as union carpenter work? Yes. You've never been granted special driving privileges before? No, sir. Your last uh, OWI offense was in 2011? Yes. Not, not the further. Okay. No question, John. All right, so you can step down. Your Honor, we are in fact in receipt of uh, valid insurance, mm -hmm. and we will defer to the court's discretion. I call the petition. Sure. Difference, so I wasn't sure if you want to take a look at it first or anything. You might want to. I know there's state forms online. I wasn't sure if you're preferring those or yeah, on the yeah, IMGov site. The, yeah. Use those. Okay. Sure. Yeah, use those. This is okay for today, though? No, you better give me an order. Give, give me a proper order. So you want to be sending to the BMP? Sure. Okay. Right. Okay. Thanks, Judge. Good. Gary Erickson, 45 CO1, 1507 MI174. Good afternoon, Your Honor. Good afternoon. Tell me, swear firm, tell the truth, and I think that truth to the best of your knowledge. Yes, sir. Okay, please be seated. Gary, state your name for the record, please. Uh, Gary Erickson. And what is your date of birth? August 20th, 1957. And where do you currently reside? Uh, Webinar 1, Old Lincoln Highway, Apartment 1C, in Cherville, Indiana. And you recently uh, retired from Sherman Building, is that correct? That's yeah, correct. And you're looking for new employment at this time? That's yeah, correct. And because of that, you're asking the court to issue a specialized driving permit, is that correct? That's yeah, sure. correct. Now, technically, your driving, driver's license in Indiana is valid, correct? Just That's expired. correct. It's just expired, correct? Correct. And they will not reissue you your own license at this time? That is correct. And that's because of a revocation out of the state of Illinois? Yes, yeah, sir. And that is effective until May 14, 2018? Correct, yeah, sir. And you're also asking the court uh, for specialized driving privileges in order to get to the grocery store, the church, medical appointments, things of that nature? Is that correct. correct. You don't hold a CEO license, is that correct? No, sir. Mm -hmm. And you did previously have a valid driver's license in the state of Indiana? Mm -hmm. Correct. And you're not currently suspended for a, refute, a chemical test refusal, correct? Mm -hmm. No, sir. I have no further questions. No questions, Your Honor. Thank you, sir. You can step down. Thank you, sir. Your Honor, we will um, ask that proof of insurance be provided. However, we will um, defer to the court's discretion in this matter. 
We will provide that to the court. Why is he suspended in Illinois? It was a revocation in 2008 for an OWI in 1997. 1997, okay. My wife expired in 1990 and then he revoked it in 1997. He was leaving the scene of an accident. All right. I'll bring the petition. Thank you. I approach you. Yes.